All right, a couple of things. First off, we are gonna go up there. And remember the uh, the supposed cache that was there. I don't know what that's all about, but it is there. But it does mean also that we have explored every little thing uh, apart from this bit, starting from here. So we're gonna circle around from the top. Let's see what we're gonna do with that. Bastion Zin. This city has been in a downward spiral for too long. Only the soft-hearted and the street vermin dare to deny it. Hmm. Bloody ridiculous. Some folk must live a charmed life if a child playing in the streets their greatest worry. Oh, is that what he's complaining about? Almost coming to blows over a pebble. What's this city coming to? I know, right? I know. Who are you? Are you the lady that complains about people walking? The mouse can publish all the fluff pieces at once about those steel watchers. I think they're a menace. She is a different person. All right. What do we have? We have a fist over here just doing fisty things. We have a news hawker. Let's see what that's all about. You want a copy of this rag? Gold. Make it quick. Gold. Make it quick. You didn't say two. What? Yeah, uh, what's, uh, what's with the attitude? My stupid dad makes me sell these shite rags. Pillock. If you want one, it's gold. Why don't you read the number? What's going on, voice actor? <laughs> so you're selling newspapers? Yeah. The best one in town. Also, the only one in town. You want a copy? Gold. Ah, the Baldur's Mouth Gazette. The Boulder's Mouth Gazette. When the mouth barks, the fist bites. Uh, I forget the real slogan, but you get the idea. Now, buy a copy or leave. I'll buy a copy. Works great as toilet paper if you run out. I doubt it does, actually, but sure. Also, toilet paper, you have that? Apiary anxiety. Bugbear causes bumblebee fuss. Fists of Fury, animal-themed monk sect, sec sets up over pet shop. Huh. Uh, getting over the bridge together, troll citizen citizenship, and stirring the cauldron secret society brewing up doom. I uh, don't believe that is the society of, of uh, the brilliant people that we talked to. Oh, this is just a fist here. God is busy with that patrol and... And just, just shut up. That's what, that's what happens. For the stout, we got some people here. Wait, stay tonight at the Elf Song. Rat trouble. Oh, it's all the stuff that we've seen already. Let's go back here. It looks cool. Veronica, Hemperclips, and her adventure, her adventures beyond the wash basin. That reads like not uh, lore, or rather lore. The novel tells the story of Veronica Ronnie a Hemper Hemperclips who has been tumbled by her demeaning and mean-spirited husband into having more children than she wanted. Now it seems she is ceaselessly spending her days at the wash basin, cleaning a never-ending supply of dirty things. She escapes this when she solves the unsolvable riddle of the almost disturbingly handsome fairy prince, Rigel. Whisked to a world of fairy court politics and duels, Ronnie has a marvelous time and doesn't miss her damn children or her awful husband one bit. This is escapist fantasy. Trickle pet a pot boiling of the trickliest variety and it is glorious. Uh, yeah, yeah, I imagine it would be. <laughs> but you didn't need to point out that it's escapist. I, th I, th I thought it was pretty obvious. The, the, the few, well, how many children it was? Just all the dirty things. Just laundry. Clothes. Oh, yeah, it's just clothes. Why? Yeah, that's weird. Clothing. Clothes. Armor class. Ten. Wait, that's actually armor? No. Huh. Smarmy swaggered boots. These boots are well-maintained and clean. That's just normal. But I think somebody left their clothes back here. I hope they're all right. There's a rat here. A messenger rat. Okay. So, uh, in ingredients. Extract. Potions. Let's check the potion of speed, see how many we can make. 19. Okay, we're golden. This is totally fine. Uh, of animal speaking, we can make three. We have some, another one, or perhaps none. But, uh, but that's that. 
Let's have a chat with the rat. There's creeps in cloaks creeping around down in the sewers. Cloaks? That's not really news, I suppose. There's always creeps in cloaks down there. I'm not sure what the rat is talking about, but that's true. There's creeps in cloaks down in the sewers. Let's go back onto the street. Stories, stories, get them right here. <laughs> He's so excited about that. Oh, there's a teleporter here. Yeah, this one is... Not knowing where the teleporters are is, uh, is a bit of a menace. Because getting in here, for example, you have to come all the way from over there. Actually, for here, you should come from here. But it is. this one is accessible. Grumple Daggles. You trying to get in too? I waited half a day and got nowhere. I gave up. What about friend friend nog? I was queuing with the others and then I started feeling wrong. No thanks. Wrong? So you stopped queuing because you felt funny. I mean, yes, mostly. Why did you stop queuing then? I couldn't take standing in that godforsaken line a moment longer. Felt like I was going to faint. Fair enough. And they'd probably chuck you in the river if you did. <laughs> probably. Oh, unless... Unless what? He doesn't say. No admission to the upper city until further notice. Residents may queue up and wait. Wait, is this the upper city? I don't have access to it yet. I wonder how big it is. It can't be as big as this city, uh, the lower city, right? Look at the enormous thing. This is, we still haven't seen everything. We've been here for, for dozens of hours. I don't actually know how long we've been. Precious delivery. Let's see what this is. Those gems you requested. And commission for formal wear. Lord Gortash's coronation ceremony is upon us, and, upon us, and as such, I would recommend a commission. And uh, seeking help here. What is that all about? Dear Mr. Facemaker, I hear you're the best of the best when it comes to crafting new persona. Persona? Uh -huh. Well, I uh, need that and more. I'm being hunt hunted by assassins, and this is anonymous person, and I'm scared for my life. I need the makeover to end all makeovers. A makeover so complete that nobody would ever know it was me under under there. I hope you're up to the task. My life depends on it. Let's go inside. This is promising. Please start fitting with customers, not slogans. You know, your job. Bobula Embers. I think Master Figaro has a few spaces between appointments today. You're in luck. Yay. That's not Master Figaro there, though. We got some things in here. What's that called? Port portrait of a bored girl. A staunch tiefling before work. <laughs> oh, this guy is still going on with a with a slogans. Face maker, taste maker. It says over here. A promotional book. Excuse me. Face maker fashion. Don't just look the part. Be the part. And if you want to. Uh, be the part. Um, Master Figaro still has some space between appointments. Yes. You're doing a terrible job. Terrible. There's a cloak here. Look, just random normal cloak. Is, do we have cloaks like that? We... They exist? I told you. I told you the game should have normal cloaks. These exist. Un... Just, just un, uh, enchanted cloaks. Anyway, let's look around a little bit more. We have a gilded chest there. We have some. I, ca I can't see because the. This is actually not a great place to see because you get the light behind and it's difficult. But uh, for a brief moment, while the uh, dynamic resolution goes in, or not resolution, but dynamic lighting. Oh yeah, from here you can see it a little bit better. This looks regal. And it's also got, like, a cloak going on. Two cloaks, but I believe that's normal. We have a display case here. That's fine. That's fine. There's also another wardrobe there. Oh, there's a hatch. 
think I'll, I'll be able to go down the hatch. Roll the 20. Critical. Nice. Natural 20. Okay. Oh, you're not sneaking anymore? That's a friendly looking shadow. Where are we? Figaro's basement. The place where I steal all the things. No, don't attack. I think I steal all the things. I don't see anybody here. Boots have seen everything. There's more. There's more to the eye than meets the this dwarven taxonomy. Hmm. The Quartasoon, yeah, I remember that. Thieves tools, I'll take that. There's a bunch of dyes. It's all mine though, so that's good news. There's also a uh, a stained note there. And a noble stock piece. What is that? Wait. You just get noble stock? It wasn't the beginning I highlighted. Wow. Wow. It's a good thing I pay attention to this stuff. But I bet there's more. I bet we just haven't found them. But uh, let's see what this is. Thankfully, Lady Phage has provided a second bursary for my research into the perfect cobalt. A color which she believes so, so suits her complexion, she will pay any amount to see it cre recreated in dress, scarred, and veil. Veal? Veil. The, my research has led me to Kalimshan, where resides or reside the realms' finest purveyors of, and innovators of pigment. While I cannot make the journey myself, I've ridden to one happier Ashmad, believed to be the finest col colorsmith on Toriel Entire. He responded hopefully, saying the discovery of a certain type of sea mollusk has yielded promising results. The creature produces a dark ink that, when combined with acid, produces a rich cobalt blue so beautiful it may even please the discerning eye of Lady Phage. Lady Phage. Hmm. Oh, look, we have a the thing that does the counting and computing. Abac Abacar? Abacus? Abacus. I think it's called. Current orders. For Lady Margaret Phage, one ball gown, cobalt in color with boned bodice and cuffs of ermine cuffs. Cuffs of ermine cuffs? Sure. For Lord Agamir, a dress cape of velvet embroidered in gold with a, the city warm weather foliage. For Mrs. Hemperstead, four identical servants' dresses for her maid staff, white cuffs and colors, line, uh, linen apron and garments of the usual fashion those are some notes right there it's hard to read and we have an opulent chest Be wary. this place is trapped it is but you're good to go unfortunately you are not so this may be about to blow up Come on, that was all right open up. that was quite all right we did roll very low, because we have 10 to 13, and I rolled 13. So I rolled a 2, I think. Splendid blue outfit. Splendid purple outfit. I think we've seen these before. I may have. So, let's start with the blue. Oh, no, we have not. It is splendid. It's actually... It is rather lovely. Not the style... Oh, yeah, we saw that. Oh, it is a different thing. The blue one. It has a different cut altogether. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. Send it to camp. And continue looking around. A little bit of gold. And Burks. Face maker, taste maker. Oh yeah, this is the 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 one that we found upstairs. The last will and testament of Julio Facemaker. I, Julio Facemaker, resident of Baldur's Gate, being of sound mind and well manicured face, dress, and body, declare this to be my last will and testament. In writing this, space, space, I revoke all previous promises made, verbal or otherwise. Any who contest the contents of this document will be excluded from it entirely. To my daughter Carmen, I leave my fortune in gold, silks, and gemstones, with a double space right there. Among my issue, you alone have earned it. To my other child, Figaro, I leave the management of my shop. A bit of honest labor would do him good. I'll take that. It doesn't matter. But I'll take that nonetheless. It doesn't matter because it's not a quest item. That's what I mean to say. 
These are difficult locks. And traps and everything. Just for a little bit of uh, complicated gold. Forgery kit. Oh. That's the first time we see one. They exist in... in uh, you can't use them at all. They exist in, in uh, tabletop. A selection of seals, wax, parchments, and inks purchased in back alleys or swiped from officials' desks. It's not the official description of the item, which I find amusing, but it is... Yeah, there's forgery kit, there's this guy's kit, and there's another kit that is a thing. And I forget exactly. We also have Figaro's chest key. It turns out I didn't need to spend that. We have a couple of normal things here. Put them right there. And there's definitely something behind. Be wary. This place is trapped. This wall. This wall, how does it open? How does the wall open? Okay. Um. Hmm. I don't know. We're pulling it off. There we go. That's how it opens. I don't know where the trigger is. Difficulty class 10, let's go. Autumn Crocus. Not trapped. Curious. Natural 20. And a little bit of money. All of that for a little bit of money? Surely not. That's weird. Was that all? That was all. Huh. All right, let's go upstairs. See this Figaro person. Not Figaro, because Figaro is dead. Got some chests here. I'll take those. Lightning bolt. Hmm. Why is this locked? Oh, because the person isn't up here. The person is downstairs. Right. I thought he was. I, th I thought. He, I thought he was upstairs. Okay, I'm gonna ungroup. Let's see what do we have in here. Hopefully, no demons. Because th I can see. That. I can't see that, but yeah. There's something going on. Traveler's chest. Just normal things. There's another door here. Nothing important. There's quite a lot of riches, but I won't take them because... Scroll seeming. I'll take that. That's about as expensive as it gets. For a single item. And also, I don't think that... Uh, I don't think we've ever Something gotten it. Figure out chest key. Take that. The keys I can take, because... Ooh. Can't risk being in open view. Telekinesis. Okay. Yeah, let's see if I'm wrong about this. Does he have... There we go. He does. He did have the spell. What else? Hmm. No traps, please. It's a strong box. Get the key didn't do nothing. 15 difficulty class, we pass. Not with flying colors, mind you, but we pass. And he doesn't have anything. This calls for careful footwork. Okay, well, let's get down. Okay. Stairs. So many portraits. I could take them all. And it's back here. I, I just, for some reason in my mind, I I, uh, I didn't think about the... Oh, he's alive. Oh, right. People who are living also have wills. Kale Doriax. Heavens, what's the hold up? I dare say the wait is shorter in the city of judgment. What about you? 
You appear to be lost, dear. I specialize in fashion, not potato sacks. That was a bit rude. What's rude, dear, is strolling into a place like this, looking like that. A certain level of class is expected by my clientele. So if you wish to stay, I must insist you purchase some less depressing garments. Sure. Um, I, uh, your life is in danger. Also, I met your sister. She didn't have a very high opinion of you. I think I know why. Well, the feeling is decidedly mutual. Her wares are a poor imitation of the clothing I have on offer here. If she would just accept my offer to work here, like father wanted, we could resolve all this bad blood. But no, too proud. Is it like father wanted? I, I, I would have to read the will again. Either way, um, yeah, you're in danger. A killer is after you. I killed the killer, but either way. <laughs> if looks could kill, Lord Gortash would have already hanged me. I wouldn't worry too much. This is undoubtedly some rumor cooked up by my many rivals. It's not a rumor. You're literally named on a list of targets. Other people on it have already died. Well, I suppose if it's that elaborate a prank, it rolls out my sister as the culprit. Carmen can barely organize her own shop. Never mind stage a murder mystery to meddle with me. Very well. I'll take my precautions. Thank you. I don't know what precautions you're going to take, but... Make haste. I have a very busy day of very demanding clientele ahead. What do you require? I, uh, what are you selling? I sell anything and everything needed to cultivate your countenance. The what now? The best you'll find in Baldur's Gate. Certainly better than any dreck you'll pick up in Worms Crossing. Let me see what you have in stock then. Very good, ma'am. Okay, this is indeed quite the extensive uh, repertoire. I'm likely not going to buy anything. Uh, so it doesn't matter. Ooh, we have underwear here. What is that? Are those stockings? No way. No way. Okay, we have underwear. This is the same as the one I'm wearing. And this is the same as Karlak is wearing, I think. Oh, that looks cool. I want to buy that. I want to see what that is. Uh, that is the same as I started wearing at the beginning of the game. This is completely new. This is definitely new. I don't know what that is. This is weird. Check it out. And that's the same as that. This is, uh, I think, the same as Will's. This is a lovely... I, I, I think I've seen one of these. Uh, yeah, a lovely... I love the, the gold and white colors. And uh, what else we have? Chocolatier style double. What? We didn't find that, did we? I kind of want to see that. It's quite expensive, though. In a city of brass outfit. I uh, don't know if I saw that. I don't know if I saw that. Elegant robe. I want that. Is it very elegant? How elegant is it? It is quite elegant. It is... 510. Okay, this is why we still things. Um, he doesn't give me a discount. It's fine. We got, we buy that. We have all the Lionheart outfits. We have the ma- Yeah, these are cheap in comparison. Holy crap, 90 gold and like these- Oh, the, oh they're cheap. Okay, so it's likely- It's likely we saw that before. And then down here- yeah, we've seen these. Lovely. Lovely these ones are, but... What was that one that cost 500? It's the elegant robe. Alright. So. Sell that. Or buy that, I should say. Oh, he has actually quite a rather huge amount of money. Okay. Now remember, fashion's a fickle mistress, so be sure to return. I will... But I also will go to camp. Because I want to sell you the rest of my junk. There we go. Hello. Make haste. I have a very busy day of very demanding clientele ahead. Very good, ma'am. There we go. And now Will of the gate. can sell all of this stuff. 
There we go. Now remember. I know if I know if anyway. Why did we want Where's Will Will, where's your money? Where's your money? Where'd you put your money, Will? My god, scaring the crap out of me. Oh, we can't even Jesus. There we go. 20k, we're back. We're back in business. We're back in black. Anyway. Underwear time. What is this? Oh, right. I need to take that. Thank you. Now, this is just yellow. Oh, it goes over there. Okay. And this is my old one. This is the green. Oh, that looks pretty. That looks really pretty. Wow. It's, not, it's more like a bikini kind of situation, but it's underwear, so... This is... Oh, this is cute. Uh, and this is... The same mesh, a little bit more t mute, and this is the elegant robe. Anyway, let me go back to Carlax's favorite, and let me put the robe on. <gasps> We've seen somebody wear this, right? That that that. Uh, oh, this has a name. This thing it does not fit with this stance. <laughs> it's, 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 so it's a, yeah, it's really beautiful. I think it suits me. Amazingly, should I wear that? I should. That's that's where we're going. Uh, it it is also very expensive, so hopefully they don't complain to me that uh, that it's like that. So sent to camp, and that's gonna be our thing. Do we? Yeah, I'm just gonna share some of this stuff. Uh, actually, I'll just send it to camp. As ever. There it is, it's gone. And I am dressed to kill. I mean, I literally have the biggest knife you'll ever see. Oh, there's sponges here and stuff. Oh, this is where people get ready and whatnot. Another step forward. Anyway, I am now a, a Greek goddess and I will just continue. Oh, you're alone back here. Maybe I should steal from you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. See you later, fools. <laughs> I mean, I, I I did take their money, but honestly, the I I buy I bought from them. Oh, this is the this is the thing. Dig, dig in those in that dress. Oh, it's clipping. It is clipping like mad. It's probably that probably happens a lot to a lot of clothes as well. Remove curse scroll and a little bit of money. Not too shabby. Some pigeons that don't exist because they are not talkable too. They're just decoration. And what's going on back here? What's going on? Are we in the park? I hear the birds. Let's, let's explore a little bit. Yes, we are wading through the water in our new dress. And this would definitely ruin the dress. As in, it would not work anymore. But don't, don't at me. I don't care. Kalak is doing the same. You don't see anybody complain about her. Hmm. <laughs> it'd be kind of, uh... It'd be kind of weird to... To, uh... From a gameplay perspective, it'd be kind of weird to, uh... Basically not allow you to wash your clothes in a, in a very normal way. But it definitely would be a thing that I would... I would note in, uh... In a tabletop if I were DMing. I'd be like, now your clothes are ruined! And you'd be you'd be forced to contend with the fact that now whenever you're trying to to uh, appeal to anybody's sensitivity sens sensibility I should say like the fools in here you you'd definitely be shouted out and be like no your clothes are dirty go away you must not ever soil yourself yeah we're definitely in the park I'm just gonna go around a little because uh, the park kind of looked a little bit scary because of how many people there would be in here but it looks like there are not that many. And we're getting all the balsams as well. Let's have a chat with these ones. Thoki. Sorry, pal. Table here is reserved for retired fists only. Veteran perk, you understand. It's a bl it's the t the chairs are are reserved. I think. Don't listen to Vistra. She talks big for a short old dwarf. Those good old days weren't all rosy. What about Avorel here? I well met, citizen. 
Oh, I mean fellow citizen, I guess. Sorry. Not used to retirement. Hmm. Feast these days. Can't take a piss without a steel watch a help in the aim. It's pathetic. That would probably be very dangerous. Also, she has the same face as her, I think. Say, you've a bit about you, though. Maybe you should think about enlisting. She has the same face. Uh, anyway, that's good. Let's get on to the... Let's get over here. On to the way to the upper city. I want to find out what that's all about. 